For the ninth time in the past 10 years, the Our Redeemers Knights volleyball team is going to the Class B state tournament. Now that is what you call a decade of dominance. The Knights finished the regular season undefeated inside their region and didn't drop a single set in any district matches. State tournament starts Thursday in Fargo and Our Redeemers coach Karen Nunziato says, why not the Lady Knights? Kara likes to say, why not us? Like, why not the Lady Knights? So it's kind of fun just knowing, like, because last year, you know, we played Northern Cast right away, so we were just looking for an upset, like, and we knew that was going to be hard. But this year, I feel like we kind of have that chance to kind of make it pretty far. So I think that's kind of fun to just see how it goes. The Knights' successful season so far has been no surprise to those inside the locker room. Senior Ali Francis credits the team's attitude. We talk a lot about the culture in our gym and just bringing good attitudes and like mental game. I mean, I think volleyball is definitely a mental game. I mean, yeah, you have to play good, whatever, but like that comes with the mental ability to stay strong during a tough match. And I think that's the most important thing that we're really putting on like the younger girls is just to have a good mentality and have good attitudes. I'm told the Knights made it safely to Fargo tonight. They play New Rockford Cheyenne tomorrow at 3. We'll have the highlights at 6. In case you hadn't heard the news, the Minot High Magicians football team are state champions. Everyone on the team contribute in some way, but in the final minutes of the fourth quarter, your Serve Pro Athlete of the Week took over the stage. <laughs> Kellen Burke has been waiting. It was scary, obviously, but I, I knew Kellen had it. For his moment. I wouldn't rather it be in anybody else's hands than Kellen, honestly. Minot's do-it-all junior got his moment in the final minutes of the Dakota Bowl. It's memories that we'll have for the rest of our lives. It started on defense. I got the tackle, and I was like, OK, I got him down. Then I look over, and I'm like, oh, no, the ball's gone. <laughs> and I look back, and it's just an instant wave of relief, and I was like, Let's go, Kellen. He's running down the sideline. I was so happy. After the Magi trailed Shanley by as many as 21 points, Kellen's fourth quarter pick six tied the game. It's absolutely huge plays from a, a huge kid. And to tie up the score 35-35 without having to put our offense on the field and take away time, it's, it's amazing. Then, with three seconds left, his magical moment. We had all the faith in the world. Even if he had to do it twice after a timeout. He'll do it three more times, and he will. We practiced that in practice, you know, I was screaming at him whatever he needed to do. Right when they kicked it, I saw it go over the person's hand that was trying to block it. And I was like, all right, that's going right in the middle. I could just see it. And I was just like, all right, let's start. Let's go. Let's go celebrate. I started running away because I did not want to get doggy piled. I'm, I'm claustrophobic, so I didn't want to get doggy piled. <laughs> Kicker is just one of Kellen's roles on the team. Beginning of the season, I told Coach Hendershed, I'm I'm willing to do anything, play anywhere, do anything like that. Whatever helps the team, whatever is best for the team. It's the same way during baseball season. That asked me, so what position are you playing? I was, I would tell him everything. He waited for his time. He deserves that big moment. Let's go, bro. Now Kellen is in his prime. Kellen said he hopes to play baseball in college like his older brother Chase, who plays at Jamestown. Congratulations and good luck. Before we go tonight, our Your News Leader family extends our condolences to the family of Don Feldner, who passed away today. Don was a longtime Minot High player, educator, and coach. In the 1965 state baseball tournament, he pitched two wins in one day when the Magicians won the state championship.